What's up guys, it's Jail Folks from Road Angler TV. I want to start off by saying thanks for subscribing to the channel. I finally hit a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys. So it's time to give you something back. It's time for the giveaway. But first, I want to do something a little bit different in this video. I want to show you guys my top five go-to lures for bass. And now these are lures that I've used in multiple different states and I think you can benefit from them too. So here they are. Number five, spitter bait. Now these are great for throwing in current on uh, cloudy or windy days. Even uh, throwing these next to brush piles or log jams or anything like that that you see down in the water like a down tree. I recently caught a big muskie, a 38 inch muskie on a spinner bait. So I usually throw white or chartreuse. Usually you want to use like a little trailer. It's almost like a little fluke you want to put on the back of this and kind of a little grub. But this is a great go-to lure for me. You can cover a lot of water. Uh, it's great for like in murky water. They see that flash. It resembles like a bait fish. So definitely uh, one of my go-to lures, spitter bait. Number four, the Senko. Now there's a bunch of different ways you can rig these. Um, one of the ways I like to is a uh, wacky rig. That's when you hook it in the middle or uh, use a little rubber band center it in the middle, let it sink to the bottom like that, weightless. And that, just that movement there just drives the bass nuts. Uh, another great way is a Texas rig. That's uh, when you got a weight at the top and it just, just gives it a little, a little bit of weight coming to the bottom, kind of sticks up kind of like a shaky head. That's another way you can rig it like a shaky head where it just uh, sticks straight up like that, wiggles around like that and the bass just love it. Um, you want to throw brighter colors in uh, clear water, darker colors in murky water. I personally like to throw uh, green pumpkin and watermelon red. Those are kind of like my two go-to colors for Senkos. I've had a lot of success. I've had big bass hit these. I mean, you get a lot of smaller bass, so you get more quantity and quality. But I have had 10-pound bass eat one of these like it was nothing. So. Definitely a great thing to have in your arsenal. I recently got second place in a tournament in South Carolina because this was all I used the whole tournament. So when the bite is tough, throw a Senko. I keep it on my uh, spinning rod pretty much at all times with my boat. It's always rigged up, so the Senko. All right, number three, the Big Easy by Gambler Lures. This is my go-to topwater lure down in Florida. This is pretty much all I'll throw top water. Um, I've had a lot of success with bass with these. I've had a lot of big bass come up and just annihilate these on top water. And top water isn't the only way you can rig them. You can rig them like Texas rig or put them on a jig head and it's still a good swim bait. It's got really good action. The tail really gives off a good blub, 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 bubbles, you know, like a good trail for bass to just like follow and just annihilate. They're also my go-to lure for snakeheads. I mean, snakeheads just love these things. I caught a 38-inch uh, or a 32-inch snakehead on one of these uh, recently, and they come in all different colors. I've had success with every color, so definitely check them out. The Gambler lure is big easy. All right, number two, the jig. You guys have seen me throw it in a lot of my videos. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. There's nothing like throwing a jig into some heavy cover and yanking out like a big bass. So usually how you work these is I like to skip it up under trees whenever I see a tree down or just like heavy brush. Let it hit the bottom and then you wait for a little tap tap and usually they hit it on the drop. So you'll feel a little tap tap. It's very slight. and Sometimes you won't even know that they're on. You'll just see your, your line moving. And then as soon as you see the line move in or you feel that tap tap, you set the hook and usually you're going to yank out a pretty big bass. I usually throw black and blue and more stained water, murky water, and then like green pumpkin or some kind of orange or brown in uh, clear water. So definitely one of my favorite ways to fish. If you're looking to get a big bass, throw a jig. All right, number one, one of my favorite ways to fish. Top Toad, Stanley Top Toad. Now, these are topwater frog that you definitely want to add to your arsenal. They have really great action. The legs give off a perfect trail. and It gives off perfect bubbles for these bass to uh, really target and 
just want to annihilate. I've had a lot of success with these. I originally caught like a 19 and a half inch smallmouth in one of these, like first 10 minutes of fishing. Just about everything would go for them. Snakeheads, uh, they're great up north, uh, great down in South Florida. There's nothing like a big bass just coming up and just annihilating one of these. And I've had success just about everywhere with them. So definitely add these to your arsenal. Stanley Top Toad. All right, guys, those are my top five go-to bass fishing lures. I hope you dug the video. If you're interested in any of those lures, check out the description of the video. I got all the links there for you to check out. Maybe you'll have some success with them, too. I definitely have. But anyways, it's time for the 1,000 subscriber YouTube giveaway. Here it is. Here we go, guys. Got the random selector here. It's going to pick a random subscriber on my YouTube channel. Got all the lures ready to go, boxed up. As soon as I hit start, we're gonna find out who the winner is. Here we go. <laughs> winner, Mac White. All right, Mac, send me your address and I will get this out to you. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Of the world has been leaning down on my shoulders, trying to live up to this name. So many temptations.